me again, it's Mrs. McGee. Back in my slightly blustery hut this morning, we'll have some added sound effects, I think, possibly, as this music lesson goes on. I hope you're well, I hope you're safe. Could you go and find either a whiteboard and a pen, or a piece of paper and a pencil if you're at home and you don't have a whiteboard? Because we'll do a little bit of writing today, um, but I'll show you when to, um, to pause and go and find that. I mean, you can do it now if you like. That's great. Okay, but to start off with, we are going to sing a little song. I'm going to try. Uh, in music, we don't just obviously have rhythms and pulses to think about, patterns. We also have something called pitch. So today we are going to start looking at a little bit of pitch by doing a small singing exercise that gives each of the notes of what we call the scale a number. So in a scale in music, a Western musical major scale, we have eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe you could sing that with me. Off you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you see how they're rising one step at a time? You can go down as well. Let's start at number eight and count backwards. <gasps> Cross fingers, your brains are working. So we'll start on eight and count backwards. Off we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can we do those both together? So when we get to eight at the top, we'll have a breath and we'll do eight again coming back. Off we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that should be fairly easy. Good. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to put those numbers into a little song. We won't use all of them. I don't think this song goes all the way down to one, but it certainly goes all the way up to eight. So if I play it first for you, you can have a little listen, and then we'll try it phrase by phrase. Okay, so here it goes. It's called a little echo, because you will echo it in the end. Let's try it. Hopefully that's loud enough. one but only once okay so do your best if you get stuck you can always rewind to do it again so here it comes one more time you echo what i do Well done. 
So that's the beginnings of what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks, learning about pitches and how you can recognise them and eventually start to use them. Okie dokie, so this is where you're going to need your whiteboard or your bit of paper. Not right this second, but in a moment you will need it. Do you remember double double this this that we did last week? Okay, I'm just going to stop that so it doesn't go off on its own. Let's see if you can remember it all the way through. I'm going to do it twice through, so if you don't remember it, first time round just watch and listen and then second time join in. But if you do think you know it, then let's do it twice. Are you ready? So this is double, this is this, this is that. Ready, steady, off we go. Double, double this, this, double, double that, that, double this, double that, double, double this, that. One more time, off we go. Double, double this, this, double, double that, that, Double this, double that, double, double this, that. How did you get on? Did you remember it really well? I'm not sure if this mic's picking up today, so I'm just going to move it a bit closer. Yeah? Did you do it? Fab. Okay, here's the test. Let's see if we can go a little bit faster. Are you ready? Off we go. Double, double this, this, double, double that, that, double this, double that, double, double this, that. Good. Faster. Are you ready? Off we go. Double, double this, this, double, double that, that, double this, double that, double, double this, that. Well done. Are you getting confused between the this, that at the end? That's always the bit that gets us in a muddle. Go on then, fast as we can. Ready, steady, off we go. Double, double this, this, double, double that, that, double this, double that, double, double this, that. Excellent. Well done, you. Good. Okay, so now it's time to get your bits of paper and your whiteboard. Because, oh yes, as we've been doing over the last few months, I want you to think about what the rhythm pattern is for that chant. So, do I need to remind you that the short sounds are tetes and the long sounds are tars? Or can you remember? I hope so. I think a good way of starting this is to use those invisible claves or claves which we have before. So this time we're going to go back to the normal speed, we're going to say it one more time, but this time we're going to do it with the rhythm on our hands. So it should look like this. Off I go. Double, double this, this. Double, double that, that. You see? Can you join in? Are you ready? Off you go. Double, double this, this. Double, double that, that. Carry on. Double this, double that. Double, double this, that. Easy? Good. Let's do it in your thinking voice now. So you're just saying words with your hands. Are you ready? Off we go. And whilst you're doing it, I want you to be listening for those patterns. I want you to be listening for where the tetes and the tars are. Okay. Let's try it. Ready, steady. Off we go. Great. So if you've worked out where the tetes and tars are, and well done if you've noticed that there are any corresponding patterns with the words, you should be able to now write the whole thing out. Go one phrase at a time and see if you can write out each phrase's rhythm. I'm going to show you just a tiny bit. I'm going to show you the first phrase just to see, just to make sure, 
that you remember what the pattern is. So I don't want to give the rest away because you're sneaky, I know. I'm going to come a little bit closer to the laptop so you can just see the first phrase, okay? Uh, just to remind you of what Tete's and Tars look like. Ooh, let's go that way. Okay, so you remember that the Tete's are the short ones and the Tars are the long ones. So I want to see if you can write out all four phrases just like that. We're going to use the blobs and a little bar line at the end of each pattern of four, each phrase. Okay? Does that make sense? I hope so. So you should end up with a four line pattern like that, she says. Show you quickly so there's no cheating. Alrighty, and see if you can recognise what the patterns are in that charm, because there are some. Okay, so that's a little bit of homework for you to do now. Pause. Okay, so hopefully you won't have found that too difficult. If you're struggling and you really can't work out where the tetos and the tars are, write down the words of the whole chant in four lines um, and see if you can work out whether each syllable, so you know what that is, that's a sound for each part of a word, double, see whether your syllables match the notes that you've put down. Only one syllable per symbol. Yeah, that should make it easier for you. Okay, good. If you want to, you can send them to me. I'm sure Miss Brown could take a photo or something of all your um, all your rhythms. But if not, you might want to stash them away somewhere. It's fine with me. We can use them again. Okay, so I think it's now time to do a proper space song. We did a silly song last week, but this one is really good fun. I've done it loads of times with lots of year fours, and they usually really enjoy it. It's called Ignition Light Speed, and it's one of those songs that's got um, a chorus that comes over and over again, and it also has some patterns that are repeated as well. So hopefully it links up with all the things we've been doing. Ignition Light Speed, it's called. I have sent the words through on your Year 4 file. I think I may have even sent the track, so if you want to do it more than once at home, fantastic! Get practising! Lovely. Okay, so, let me find the right track. Uh, I think it's number... Let me just check. Oh, it's number one. That's good. I'm going to sing it halfway through, not the whole thing, for you. And then we'll learn the chorus. Night on a rocket to the stars. Get ready to zoom straight past the moon and take a left turn off to Mars. As the engines burn and the planets turn and the light years slip away, we'll be heading out to a purple cloud at the heart of the Milky Way. To prepare to fly, my friend. Way on through space and time It's time to accelerate Across the heavens There go seven Wave goodbye to six and five Let's hope we make it back alive Four, three, two, one World, here we come Ignition, what's your mission? Life's condition, what's your that mission? The only right condition, what's your mission? Life's condition, what's your that mission? The only right condition, what's your mission? There we go, so that is verse one and the chorus that we're going to learn today. Could you hear that pattern at the end? We're going to sing that to start off with. I'll go first, watch out, it has a rest at the beginning of each phrase. So it'll go, Ignition, what's your mission? You'll go, Ignition, what's your mission? Four times. Ignition, what's your mission? Ignition, what's your mission? Last one. 
Ignition, what's your mission? Okay, so that is the repeated pattern at the end of the first chord. Great. So, could you tell in the chorus, it's got basically the countdown all the way through, but it's not always the number at the start of each phrase, so just watch out. But the first few are, so it goes like this. I'll do it first, then it's you. You know how this works by now. So it goes, my go first. Ten, prepare to fly, my friend. You'll go, ten, prepare to fly, my friend. Can you hear the same pictures that we did in our exercise at the beginning? La, 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 la. Rising phrases in a scale. Yay! So, let's do that again. Off I go. Ten, prepare to fly, my friend. You'll go, ten, prepare to fly, my friend. Good? Okay, so the next one is now nine, obviously. And the words are way on through space and time. Pitch is a bit different this time. Here I go. Nine, way on through space and time. I'll do that again for you. Nine, way on through space and time. You'll go, nine, way on through space and time. Let's do those two together. Mine go first. Ten, prepare to fly, my friend. Nine, way on through space and time. Go, ten, prepare to fly, my friend. Nine, way on through space and time. Okay? Good, now we've got eight. So it goes like this. Eight, time to accelerate. You do it. Eight, time to accelerate. Good, but then that phrase joins on to seven. So watch out. I'm going to do two of them together because it's difficult to do one at a time. So we have the words eight time to accelerate across the heavens. So we want to just take one breath at the beginning and keep going through that. So time to accelerate across the heavens and then you have your number. There goes seven. Okay, so it goes like this. Eight time to accelerate across the heavens. There goes seven. I'll do that again for you. So, eight, time to accelerate across the heavens. There goes seven. You'll go add. Eight, time to accelerate across the heavens. There goes seven. Okay. Right, should we do that whole of the first section now? Let's try it. Ten, nine, eight, seven. We're up to. How many to go? Off we go. Ten, prepare to fly, my friend. Nine, way on through space and time. Eight, time to accelerate across the heavens. There goes seven. All right, if you didn't get that bit, rewind, do it again. Okay, more numbers now. So it goes like this. Wave goodbye to six and five. Oh, we've got rid of two already. And it's almost the same tune, so that shouldn't be too hard. I'll do it again. Wave goodbye to six and five. You'll go, wave goodbye to six and five. Excellent. And then the next bit is similar tune, similar pitches. Let's hope we make it back alive. I'll do it again. Let's hope we make it back alive. You'll go, let's hope we make it back alive. I'm going to do those two together. And then it's your turn, sir. So, Wave goodbye to six and five. Let's hope we make it back alive. You'll go. Wave goodbye to six and five. Let's hope we make it back alive. You get it? Good. Easy peasy bit now. Four, three, two, one. There you go. And then the next part is world, here we come. So it goes. Four, three, two, one. World, here we come. You don't even have to sing it. Easy. Off we go. Four, three, two, one, world, here we come. And then the last phrase is the bit we learnt at the beginning. Ignition, what's your mission? Ignition, what's your mission? It's slightly higher that time, but it's the same rhythm. So I'm going to go from wave goodbye to six and five, and then we're all going to do it together. I'll give you the whole thing. Off I go. Wave goodbye to six and five. Let's hope we make it back alive. Four, three, two, one. World, here we come. Ignition, what's your mission?
fish and you're going way goodbye to six and five. Let's hope we make it back alive. Four, three, two, one, world, here we come. Ignition, what's your mission? I've got strap on the rest. How did you get on? Okay. Brilliant. Now, this is going to be tricky, finding my way back to the chorus. So what I might do is just chatter over the top of the verse, or maybe just say the words, so if you have them, you can follow along. Oh, I've got my thing the upside down in way, that doesn't help, does it? Okay, let's go back to number one. And open the beginning, no, not number three, thank you. Then see the opposite, there we go. We're back. It's having sleep now. Confused. Come on then, play for me. No. What is it doing? I think it's got cold being outside in the hut the whole time. It'll probably wake up in a minute. Okay, so you should have the words there, which is really helpful to follow along with. But it's really good if you can learn it from memory as well. Cool, so strange. It's decided to skip a track now. I'm just going to stop it. Take it out, give it a little wipe, that always works. And try it again. It should just play on its own now. Okay, so after the bit that we've just done, we go and do verse two with some more words, obviously. Then the chorus comes back in. Who knows what you will find? What wonders you may see. When you take a trip on a big spaceship to the edge of the galaxy It's a mystery zone, but it could be home to another form of life And when the ship descends, we could be making friends or fighting to survive Ten, prepare to fly, my friend Nine, way on through space and time to accelerate across the heavens There go seven Wave goodbye to six and five Let's hope we make it back alive Four, three, two, one World, here we come Ignition, what's your mission? Lights, ignition, what's your that mission? The only rights, ignition, what's your mission? Lights, ignition, what's your that mission? The only rights, ignition, what's your mission? So we do that four times and then we start back on verse two. So I think the chorus is enough for now because there's quite a lot of words to remember, quite a lot of tunes to remember. But I hope you enjoyed that. We'll learn verse one next week. Once you've learned verse one and you have the words in front of you, then verse two should be nice and easy because really it's the same. It's just putting words in a different place. That's all. Okie dokie. So I'm not going to leave you much longer. I just want to check that you had a good old listen and a good old watch to Mars Bringer of War and did it with your listening grid last week. Um, I hope that you found some really interesting things to write down in your listening grid. I hope that you found things like um, which instruments were the most important and the most interesting that Gustav Holst had used in the piece. Um, I hope you found out that there were some interesting ways of playing those instruments. I don't know if anybody of you, any of you noticed, or whether you happened to have a little look, I'm going to play it while I'm talking, uh, to the little sort of PowerPoint thing that I sent. Because a really interesting thing that Holst asks the violins to do is to turn their bow upside down, and instead of playing with the, the sort of hair part on the string, we asked them to turn it upside down and tap the strings with the wood, which was really unusual for the time. It was a bit of a flashy trick to do. So, maybe you've noticed that while you were watching it. Maybe you uh, remembered to write things like the words pitch or dynamics. Maybe you noticed the louds and the softs in something. Music makes it 
also look, uh, put on the little sheet of resources that I sent Miss Brown a link to some graphic scores that are on YouTube. And those are fantastic sort of pictures, animations if you like, of what the music sort of sounds like, but not done in rhythmic notation. And it's really good at showing you where the things all start to increase, how the layers change and how the tension increases as the piece goes on. So that's your homework this week, is to have a look, I think there are two of them, two graphic scores of Mars, where somebody has chosen to use sort of pictures instead of notes to show how the music goes. Okay. Fabulous. It's a great piece of music, and I hope you all managed to write down what you what you thought it reminded you of. Don't all shout at once. What does it remind you of? Star Wars! It sounds just like Darth Vader's March, doesn't it? But you know who wrote it first? Gustav Holst, 1914. Okay then, chaps, next time I see you, we will do a little bit more about that pattern that goes all the way through Mars. But in the meantime, enjoy watching those graphic scores. I think they're really interesting. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Bye.